Hey, 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 welcome to a brand new week, which means welcome to a brand new episode of High School Rush, the only show in Toronto that gives you an all-access pass into Toronto's high schools. We're talking sports, plays, events, clubs, dances. You know, I can just go on forever, but I'm going to just stop. I'm Emily Agard. And my name is Amy Zhu. I'll be co-hosting this week's High School Rush, and you'll never guess what's going on that. John Mills Collegiate Institute. This week's episode is going to be totally intense, and I'm not just saying that because I'm at my own school. It's because I'm at my own school. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Amy, you got to show me the wickedest spots that you hang out at. I will, in I will. School. Eventually, you'll for see. For sure, for sure. But before we do that, I want to know what makes this school so amazing. You well, gotta actually, tell I have a friend, the perfect person to tell you all about why John Mills is amazing. Mm -hmm. Her name is Nicole Kim. Nicole. Welcome. Hey. Hi. Hey, girl. Okay, so what makes your school so amazing? Three things. Hmm. Okay, so the first thing that I think is really amazing about Don Mills is the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, no matter who you are, you just come into our school and you feel welcome and everyone is really nice towards you mm -hmm. and it's just amazing being a part of this school. I've only been at Don Mills for approximately two years but already I'm friends with so many people and we get along really well. Mm -hmm. And I guess the second thing would be the school spirit. Mm -hmm. um, just around a month ago we had a spirit week at our own school and it was consisted of different spirits that we we can show through our our um, clothing. So there was Crazy Hair Day and Gender Bender and other things organized by our SAC team. And the last thing I would definitely mention is the diversity that we have at our school. It's like walking in um, a 60 journey around the world because we have many people from different countries around the world and we all get along perfectly. It's That's amazing. Wicked. You got so much going down here. All right, but for right now, let's get this episode started. We've got Michael Power St. Joseph celebrating 50 years of pop. Amy, favorite pop singer? I would say normally Katy Perry, mm -hmm. but with Rebecca Black all over YouTube and over 60, 60 million hits, I kind of admire her confidence up there. Who doesn't like Rebecca Black? And I'm co-hosting at John Mills Collegiate. It's like awesome. the environment. Awesome. For sure. So basically, we have Amy Wayne here to talk about an amazing program called Cyber Arts. Hey, Amy. Hand it to you, Amy. All right, so what's going on with this program? CyberArts is actually an inter interdisciplinary arts and technology program offered right here at John Mills Collegiate Institute. And what it does is it basically encompasses both traditional art and communications technology. So I guess the best example of this would be the painting right behind me. Um, it showcases the traditional art aspect of CyberArts in the sense that I tried to emulate Jackson Pollock. Okay, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You made that painting? <laughs> I did, I did. Wow, oh my goodness. I want it in my living room. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's a good example of what we do. We have independent study units where we're free to take on whatever we want. And this is what I chose to do with Jackson Pollock painting. Now on the other um, side of the spectrum, we have uh, communications and technology. And so behind us, you see Anderson Cooper there. Mm -hmm. That's a good example of you know, a typography vector, which is something we do in technology class. And so CyberArts really exposes you to both sides of you know, design and uh, aesthetics. And so beyond that, I mean, cyber is just all about the people and the experience. In here, you're in an incredible atmosphere where you're surrounded by really talented, really creative people, and they're all immensely supportive. So honestly, if you guys are interested, just check out our website, cyber.ca, and just see if you're interested in this program and if you like it. So I'm much, interested. How much are you selling that for? Yeah. <laughs> I think she should sell, make some money. It's a serious <laughs> talent, girl. But right now, we're going to check out William Lyon McKenzie. They did their Science Olympics. We're going to go check out some art. You guys check out William Lyon McKenzie. Yeah. High School Rush. This week, we're at Don Mills Collegiate Amy School. Amy, I'm having so much fun here so far. I'm same, same. I'm having a blast. All right, so I want to learn a little bit more about what makes your school so cool. So can you can you introduce that? Can you tell me a little bit more? <laughs> Well, we have Zach that makes the school amazing. This is Sean Yu and Keisha Cool who will tell you all about Student Activity Council. Hi, hey, so what's the SAC? What is it? Well, like she said, we're the Student Activity Council and um, we really, this is pretty simple. School is school. It will always be school. And so uh, we just try to make things better for the students, the little things that we do every day and just try to increase school spirit and the functionality of our school. I like that. I do. I really like that. Yeah, we're the ones who organize like all the dances, bios, prom, all that stuff. You know, no big deal or anything. We're just in charge of everything. I like your <laughs> outfit, by the way. Thanks. So this is actually our mascot. It's called the Bruin. We just got it this year. Rocking it every day. Rocking it every day. All right, we're also in Don Mills Collegiate's gym. I want to hear about the sports now. Let's uh, say hello to Jeremiah. 
Jeremiah so we, VJ. So go ahead. So Don Mills, we got we got hockey, baseball, basketball, mm. soccer, rugby, mm. and water polo, track and field, swim it's team, like so many sports that we can't even name. But um, just a little shout out to the junior girls volleyball team who won the championship for us. All right. Ruffin, yeah. All right. So since we're talking about sports, how about we pass it right on over to DG David Grossman? Take it away, sir. What became part of a fitness craze something like 25 years ago has turned into an outstanding... You've tuned into High School Rush and it is the official time for the rent. Now I have Betty Chang here who's hey, going to give me her opinion on this. Water bottles, should water bottles be banned from schools, Betty? What do you think? Well, I think it's actually a great idea just because there's a lot of other amazing viable options such as reusable water bottles. And especially in most schools, since we have um, what's it called water fountains, it's a great option. And I really think it's eco-friendly. I agree with you on that, actually. I want to bring my water bottles around. But uh, we're going to hear what other people have to say on this week's rant. I strongly believe in ecology. And um, I think that it's a great way to save money, first of all. And second of all, our school bins, like the blue bins, they get filled just like this. Yeah, I actually think they do. I think students would be a lot better off with the, um, the metal, um, environmentally friendly ones. They wouldn't have to keep buying or getting new plastic ones. Even though we have recycled bins and um, possible ways of recycling these water bottles, people still don't find the time to just throw it in the recycling, but they put it in the garbage. So it creates a waste in the environment. No, I think they should be reduced first and then you can take better actions to bag them after. Well, kids are really busy and when they're just running out of their house, they just quickly pick up a water bottle on their way out. And we need our water supply for the day to make sure that we're concentrated throughout like, the school day and make sure that we're paying attention. As a student, it's easier to access a plastic water bottle, so it kind of helps us. Yes because we need to start somewhere. There's plenty of other ways that you can bring water to school. You can have the plastic reusable ones or even the metal ones. I don't know. I, I don't think they should ban it, but the water's pretty good in uh, the, the fountains anyway, so either way, it doesn't really matter to me. It's harmful to the environment because you drink it once, throw it away, but when you have a recyclable one or one you could re refill, it's one, it, Usually you can put more in it and plus it saves the environment. Sometimes when we're like on a rush or whatever, uh, we need to have a water bottle. Because it's more convenient for, for the society to keep plastic bottles instead of getting the, the, the metal ones, I think. I don't think uh, we should buy plastic bottles because it's convenient for our use. Yes, I think we should because well, people think you can reuse them, it doesn't last very long. And it's also cheaper if you buy those reusable metal containers. I think in an idealistic world, that'd be amazing. I mean, the health risks and the environmental effects would be largely diminished. But at the same time, I don't think it's completely viable. No, because I mean, it's good to have in class, but maybe homes should that have clean water. So that's just annoying. It was cute when I first started out. Like, oh. I'm having fun here, having so much fun, but I gotta tell you, I'm waiting for you to show me your chill out zone. I promise I will, but in the meantime, promise? we have Tia Noor and Kyle hey. Jackson from Best Buddies, who's gonna tell you all about Best Buddies. Jackson, give me a cheer. Best Buddies go. Woo! Awesome, awesome. Best Buddies go! All right, Tia, tell us a little bit about this program. So Best Buddies is a national organization where students pair up with student buddies with intellectual disabilities, mm -hmm. and we do stuff that people take for granted, like uh, going to the movies, going bowling, just stuff like that, and we want to build a relationship with them. That's really cool. Not a lot of schools do that, so it's very unique of Don Mills. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Right now, Amy's going to finally show me her chill-out zone, and we're going to leave you guys with Father Henry Carr's bronze medal game. Let's go. We've got the Off the Boys basketball bronze medal match with the Trouble Coast Father Henry Carr in blue versus Ajax with Jay Clark, Richardson, and White. So, we're finally at my chill zone. What do you think? Rate it from one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, solid nine point five. Look that's at good, that's good. here. Do you like chill out here between breaks? Do you like eat your lunch out here? Mm -hmm. Not really between classes no. or breaks. Well, yeah, breaks actually. I love this place, and we do do catwalks sometimes. Ooh, get a fashion show up in here. All right. Well, what better place to do the inbox than in your chill zone, Amy? The inbox is a 
part of the show where we get to answer your questions, check out your Facebook and Twitter comments. So send them to us and we'll read it. We love doing this. That's right, so let's get to it. Right now we've got a message from Anthony Lucchese on our Facebook wall saying, any more giveaways? Well, Anthony, you gotta watch the show to see if we're gonna have any more giveaways. I mean, maybe we'll be giving away a car one day and you won't know because you missed an episode of High School Rush. So make sure you keep watching. Watch you want us. a car. That's right. And of course, if you want to get in contact with us, three ways you can do it. Number one, Twitter, twitter.com slash Toronto. We like tweets, okay? We love it. We love Facebook comments as well. And while you're on our Facebook page, don't forget to make fun of Emily. Whoa, none of that, none of that. <laughs> and number three, email us. We like emails too, so rush at Rogers TV. Com. We love it, we love it. Alright girl, we've got all the contact information down pat. How about we check out some boys hockey at OFSA? No problem, love me some boys hockey. Loving me some boys, <laughs> woo, here we go. Okay, seriously Amy, I'm not gonna lie, your school was phenomenal. And you know, I don't use that word a lot, so when I do, you know it's true. Awesome, so would you say Doll Mills is one of the top 10 schools you've ever been to? Yeah, I'm not going to, top 10, top, top 10, 10 for sure. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal. All right. Did you have fun co-hosting? I did. It was amazing getting what? a chance to showcase my school. It's been a lot of fun. Phenomenal in your words, actually. Phenomenal. All right. But now, <laughs> Rush has got to pack up our bags. Peace out of this joint. So we're going to leave you, Don Mills, with the last words.